What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're making one of my absolute favorite things in the world, empanadas. But not just any empanadas, we're gonna stuff these with beef and cheese, fry them to perfection, and make a little dipping sauce for you guys. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, so for this recipe, I like to add potatoes to the beef filling. In order to do that though, you need to par cook the potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and dice them up nice and small, bring them to a boil until they get nice and tender. And once they're tender, that's when we add them to the mixture. That way you have nice tender bites of potato throughout your empanadas. So in go your diced potatoes, maybe put them in there a little bit more gently than I did. A little cilantro in there too, why the hell not? Now as for the veggies, we already talked about the potatoes. We're gonna add some red bell pepper, some jalapeno for a little spice. That's optional, if you don't want any heat, you can use a green bell pepper. We also have half of a diced onion as well. All right guys, so for our filling, we're gonna get the party started with the ground beef. Warm your skillet over medium high heat. Tablespoon of avocado oil, swirl that around. Then we're going in with one pound of 80-20 ground beef. We want to get this some nice color. So just to lay that one in the skillet. I like to flatten mine out a bit so that it makes good surface area contact. Starts to crisp up a bit. Good color, good texture, good flavor. Now while the ground beef is getting some color, we're going to add some seasoning. So we're going in with my AP seasoning. If you haven't tried that yet, you can get yours via the link below. A little smoked paprika. some cumin, we're also going to hit it with a little beef bouillon powder to beef up the beef flavor, a teaspoon or so of that should do the trick, and we're just going to mix that together, make sure that the beef is cooked properly, and then we'll begin to add in the veggies. Now you can strain off any of this excess fat, but in my opinion you're going to need that to saute those veggies and they'll start to absorb some of that flavor. But for the fat phobic folks in the comments, go right ahead and drain that off if you like. Once the ground beef has a head start, in goes the veggies. We're gonna add some cilantro to the party as well. We're gonna give that a mix and allow those veggies to begin to get nice and tender. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our pre-cooked potatoes. That way they're nice and tender when you bite into that empanada. Just fold those in. And then we're going in with a tablespoon or so of garlic paste. Fresh garlic will work as well. And then we're going in with our tomato paste. I'm gonna give all that a good mix. Once everything is well combined, we're gonna add in our beef broth, bring that to a boil, let that reduce, taste the seasoning and adjust as needed. One last secret ingredient from my good friends at Walker's Wood, we're gonna add a tablespoon of green seasoning. Totally optional, but this does enhance the flavor quite a bit. This is packed with scallion, onion, salt, some habanero pepper, brown sugar, some fresh herbs like thyme. Just makes the, the filling a little more robust. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and add in a half cup of beef broth, bring the heat up to a boil, let that reduce down, and then taste it one last time before we let it cool and get it ready for our empanadas. As you can see, we have a beautiful, colorful filling. Not only is it beautiful and colorful, but it's flavorful. Only thing missing is the cheese, my friends. We'll let that cool, add the cheese, and get it ready for the dough. 
All right, my friends, I'm gonna show you how to make a real quick, simple and easy dipping sauce to go with these empanadas. First things first, we need a half cup of mayo in a small mixing bowl, followed by a quarter cup of ketchup, tablespoon or two of sriracha, depending on how spicy you want this to be. We'll start with about one. A good teaspoon of garlic. A tablespoon of honey. Some of my AP seasoning. And some smoked paprika. Nice and simple. This would be good on french fries, cheeseburgers, empanadas, you name it. I'm eating it. Grab a whisk that's larger than your mixing bowl so you look goofy on camera. And whisk it until it's well combined. Taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. But that's what you want to see right there. Nice pinkish orangish color. It's going to be a little spicy, a little smoky, a little sweet from the honey. Going to hit all those notes. Perfect companion to go with those empanadas. All right, guys. So once your empanada filling has cooled a bit, at least room temperature, we're going to go ahead and fold in all the Colby Jack cheese you can handle. Because why the hell not? We're here for a good time, not a long time. You can use whatever cheese you like. Pepper Jack will work here. Mozzarella, straight up cheddar, Gouda. Really whatever cheese you got in the fridge or whatever cheese you enjoy in your house. I'm gonna fold that in until we have a nice cheesy beef filling for our empanadas because we're making cheesy beef empanadas. There we go. And that my friends is what you wanna see. So now we need to grab our empanada dough. Down with the dough. Grab a nice spoonful of your filling. I'm gonna take this and fold it over. And then we'll use our fork to secure it. Repeat that process for all of your empanadas and get your oil heated to 350 degrees and we'll be ready to go. All right guys, once that oil hits 350 degrees, it is time to drop your empanadas. When I say drop, I mean place in gently. These bad boys fry up faster than me at an open bar wedding about three to five minutes or until they're golden brown and beautiful. That's what we're looking like at about the halfway point. Let's flip them over, make sure the other side's getting the same love. There we go. Go ahead and plate these up with that delicious dipping sauce, a little cilantro for a pop of color. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is dig in here for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, time for the moment of truth. Dipping sauce. Probably could burn my mouth, but what the hell. Wow. You guys gotta try this one. Flavorful, a little bit of spice, a little sweetness from the sauce. Crispy empanada, can't go wrong.